I think the harder for me is to make a decision to change mm -hmm. or make a decision to add more habit in my life. Mm -hmm. That is way harder than start doing it. What is one of the biggest daily habit that has helped shape your life so far? Me? Oh, I think the top. Maybe talk about the top. The maybe talk about three to five. We should have three to five. Around yeah. three to five. Okay. I think first one? is wake up early in the morning. Oh, yeah. I think that's a tough for to train, but it's once you get it, you feel very enjoyable. I love the the early morning because I I don't have a competition person at that moment. You know, I have me myself with my own thought and uh, deal with my own self when nobody else around. So, Needing your time. Yeah. Like, so okay, but how long did it take for you to become part of the? 5 a.m. club because we got 5 30 right yeah how long did it take uh, for you to, to make it into a habit i always a person who love morning mm. I, but i didn't like in the young time i didn't know like oh you need to wake up certain hour and then you need to sleep certain hour i, I didn't know that until much much like after i uh i had a kid which is ava mm. so for the last eight years it's it been it been like that you have no choice that wake up for your kid but at the same time that uh, because you have a kid and you have a lot of time that you need to give to the kid, then you have to organize your time to make sure you have time for your kid, for yourself, and then for your work. Mm. So it become a part of my life. Uh, how long did it? How long? So how long did it take for you to become a habit? Uh, for habit, I think is uh, the five a.m., five thirty a.m. thing. Okay, I think this this is sound very uh unfair for everybody because it sound like so difficult for a lot of people to do because that's what feedback I heard most of the time. It's not difficult for me. I don't know somehow. For me, consistency and um, discipline is something inside my vein. Mm -hmm. If I decide to do something, I just do it every day. I don't know somehow. I But I have to make a decision to do it. Mm -hmm. For example, I make martial art. At the day I go and I sign up, the guy like, oh, you know, if you off, if you are no refund. Then I like, yeah, yeah, I know that. You don't have to tell me that. I, I know a lot of people may sign up and then they quit halfway, but I'm... I decide something and I've been doing that up to now, you know, every morning I will show up in the class. So I think the harder for me is to make a decision to change mm -hmm. or make a decision to add more habit in my life. Mm -hmm. That is way harder than start doing it because start doing it is uh, the easier for me. Oh, yeah. so, so do, starting to do it is easier for you while making a decision is deciding harder. to change is harder. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. because I was very st stuck in my own uh all belief sometimes mm -hmm. because this is still working it's not broken why i need to change for example mm -hmm. because i've been doing gym and i'm happy with gym mm -hmm. why do i need to add more stuff to train so now beside if i do gym i have to do mixed martial arts so by morning i work out training and doing exercise almost four hours mm -hmm. so a lot of people are like wow that's a lot of hours i say yeah but the meditation time for me, I moved to mix martial art because at that moment, you actually just focus on one thing. It's same like meditation. I think there are many different types of meditation, right? So maybe that one is called like the active meditation. Be present, yeah. yeah like yeah. be present. Like you, if now I told you somebody choked you to death, suddenly that's you, the only thing yes, you focus. Yes, correct. Like how to get out of this situation. You cannot think of money, poo, pee, your kid, your work, your whatever. You just want to figure out how to take this person's hand out of your soon. neck. You yeah. feel like you're gonna die. Yeah, it, it is. So um I and 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 it's 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 a lot of um daily habit that I think uh, first have to start from exercise. So mm -hmm. for me, wake up early, start exercise, drink a lot of water. I will quick drink bubble tea whenever two years old. Okay? Oh, that's why you love bubble tea. I so love much. I drink every day. Oh, you're one of those. It's a word bad. I will have a period of I look growl you know like, like a like the bubble like bubble <laughs> yes i am so i quit, you drink a lot of bubble tea you look yeah, like a bubble yeah i drink a lot of water and uh control my food i don't say like i eat diet but mm. I, I i'm watching what i book to my mouth that's also one of the daily habit i have and next thing that is um selective who i spend time and talk and have a conversation with mm. so i i that that's five that i can list down for you that is a daily habit that i i practice every day mm. yeah like I, a lot of people don't understand why i'm i'm very selective with my word but for me it's super important 
It's very important. Very yeah. important. I think because yeah. you have a lot of people looking at you now, that's why it's even yeah. more important. And by the way, Yan, if you're busy, you can leave. <laughs> you have done your job. Your job is completed. But yeah. of course, you're more than welcome to stay. Uh, Yan is all about lovely uh, behind-the-scenes people and he's helping us check the sound and all that. Because we changed back to our previous mic. We changed yeah. the new mic. So Maybe it's time for me to buy a new mic. But I can, remember, we have two of the same. We, we have, cannot join but it the cannot system. join because the system only takes one. Yeah, yeah that was bad. the issue. And then, so so if our sound quality is better, please let us know in the comments below. Because we want to make sure it's good quality because we post in the podcast, podcast as well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so make sure that it's... Uh, good quality for everyone mm, that's right so yes let us know if you um can hear us better now uh drop in the comments below and of course remember to like share and subscribe to all our different channels we're saying in the middle now at the beginning uh, while well, more, more people is on our video <laughs> right okay my own daily habits mine uh, mm, i'm directly different from and mm. for me to decide to change is very easy mm. but for me to start doing the difficult Especially the five. I actually I'm not sure, you know. Supposedly there are some people who uh everybody's body clock supposed to be different. So I'm not sure I am I'm not entirely um convinced of the early morning thing because some I feel more alive at night. Mm. So I I don't know if <clears throat> if I can force myself to to become an early morning person, will it be better for me or is it better to work with with along with my body clock? Mm. Okay. But it is true that I am getting up earlier. Okay, some of the daily habits that I have started cultivating recently. Um, I work out every day now. Uh, even if it's 15 minutes or half an hour, I just want to practice showing up. Yeah. So basically, it's, it's not about the amount of time that um, I, I can... Even if it's 15 minutes, I want to... How, how should I put it? It's like conditioning my brain. That is something that has to be done. Mm. So even if I have no time, I will make time for it. Yeah, you get what I mean. So then it's just telling my brain that it's just something that I have to do. Let's just do it. Even if it's fifteen minutes, I just practice showing up. Yeah. And the second thing um that I've been doing, and it's only to be frank, is I've only started for about a week, a week and a half mm. every day working out, or at least five days a week lah. Mm. And I can feel the difference already. Yeah. Like like you know. You feel like your body is stronger and lighter and more mobile. Does it make I sense? See. Like mm. if it, I, because my 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 house, my bedroom, my bed is on a platform. I have to climb steps to get to my bed. Mm. I can feel the difference now when I climb the steps. I don't have to. Last time I have to push myself off. Mm. Now I can use my muscle can bring me up without so much as a using the momentum of the body. Does it make sense? Mm. Okay. So hopefully, um, no, I will continue. I will continue. Today, I haven't worked out yet. So later, I hope I'll go home and work out. <laughs> do something. I'm watching Netflix anyway. Just do something. Do some squats. Yeah. Squats are very good for women, right? Oh, yes. <laughs> Best. And, uh, <laughs> and the second thing that I practice... Uh, Especially when you squat with your partner in the gym. <laughs> Actually, that's happened this morning. What, like, what do you mean squat with your partner in the gym? Because this morning, I go gym with, uh. with, with my, my uh, boyfriend. Mm-hmm. And uh, my personal trainer give the couple exercise, right? Oh, wow. So in the couple exercise, like, you have to squat in the person, like the way of like, the person see your butt and you push their leg so they can do the leg up. Uh-uh. So how can the leg down hit your face so you have to push the leg down. But at the same time, you have to stand in the position that actually your butt in the face because they need to wrap your leg <laughs> so they can do the moment, right? So... That's why it's called couple. It's, that's why I call couple exercise. <laughs> it's not meant for... Uh, it's a know. very motivating, <laughs> motivation <laughs> exercise, you know. But at the same time, it will be very uncomfortable if the guy... You see some yummy things. <laughs> yeah, the guy, if the guy who like, you know, like, want to rub your back or something. Anyway, just naughty talk a little bit. <laughs> We're supposed to be inspirational hello, today. <laughs> but it's just... Okay, whatever, to be frank, whatever gets your ass moving. Oh yeah. At the yes. end of the day, I I don't I don't discriminate against any method so long as it's not uh, hurting someone else or whatever. But anything that helps to get your ass moving, I think is a good thing. Right? Sometimes yeah. you just need a bit of a push from other people. Uh, oh yes, definitely. Yeah. And okay, so it's the second habit that I've been cultivating recently is feeding my mind. Uh instead of 
because I watch sometimes I watch Netflix, mm. but it's late at night when I'm like tired. And then when I'm on the train or whatever, I listen to music. But now instead of listening to music, I listen to podcasts. Mm. So, oh, me so yeah. Yeah, so so it so this is from Tony Robbins. He's like, he's like, you need to feed your mind every day. 30 minutes what whatever you are reading, is whether it's a, a Twitter news or news or podcast or book, whatever it is, he says just make sure to feed your mind for 30 yeah. minutes a day. Yeah. And so I think that's really helpful. And at the beginning I found it very difficult. Like because I like music. Yeah. I'm sure you like music also. But um nowadays I find myself um leaning more towards podcasts than music because there are certain podcasts that I really, really enjoy. Yeah. Like psychology which you're studying. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's this podcast that I listen to, and if you've been watching our videos, you would know it's called The Hidden Brain. It's really, really good. Mm. Very good. Good. Okay. 